Welcome to the first episode of Jiminy Flippers, a show about both saving and enjoying the environment. It's a fine day to start a new show on YouTube, especially considering that by jury of my peers, I have been consigned to the out of doors. You may well ask why, and the truth is that for some reason the other residents of my abode did not care for my buttery British accent. Go figure! But never mind that, there is a blue sky, blue, blue-ish sky above, and green grass below, and a whole lot of smitty animals who don't seem to mind my acting. No one could ask for a better audience than a goat or a peacock, although the peacocks can be rather, rather critical when they don't get their morning corn. Now, I know you assume that, for, that I'm just another pretentious egomaniac with the audacity to splatter my big ugly face on the internet and force my opinions on everyone I can. You'd be correct, but don't let me- SHUT UP! I'll get your corn later! But don't let that- Now- Oh, now you thrown me off! Now stop it! You would be correct, but don't let that stop you from watching, since egomaniacs can be quite entertaining and are, in fact, the sole reason for YouTube's incredible success. My primary reason for starting this show, other than to become a big YouTube celebrity, of course, is to bring to light the many environmental problems in my region and perhaps the world, if I can even bother to get around to it, of course. Future episodes may differ in their content to include hiking, photography, and other subjects. It all really depends on you, my dear viewers. Comment and tell me- no! What do you would like me to talk about next? And I may or may not do it. After all, it is my show. But you might as well give it a go. The other day a bond wake The other day upon waking, I stood in bleary-eyed horror at the headlines upon the local front page of the morning paper. Not only was it appallingly worded, the ending content was enough to put me right of my tea. The story, con story concerned my dear local congressman and her declaration of war upon the sea lions of the lower Columbia River. Apparently she fancies herself as some kind of marine biologist, and in her considered opinion, the low food chain of the river in question is out of balance. Specifically, the sea lions are pushing another species out of its place in the food chain by eating more than their fairest share of salmon. That species, of course, is Homo sapiens. And everyone knows that we are, of course, the most important living thing on the planet. Jemmy Butler claims that the sea lions are leaving, not leaving us enough fish to get fat and rich by eating them ourselves. And of course, we would never overuse the resource, and it's not like we drove the salmon to the brink of extinction in the first place. Oh wait! Yes, that was us. We were the ones who gated off whole rivers with nets and caught every living thing that tried to swim up, swim up them. We were the ones who shaved the hills of trees and drowned the rivers in choking mud. We were the ones who built the dams that stopped the salmon from reaching their spawning grounds. Now, we have improved significantly since those days, but we are far from blameless even today. The dams still stand, many of them still lacking adequate passage for fish. The Columbia still swim to the fishermen, and we still hack the forest to pieces. Yet, despite the worst efforts, worst efforts of some, and because of the best, best work of others, the salmon are making a comeback. Every year, the returning number of fish grows, and this bounty has brought a host of wildlife flocking to the river, such as hasn't been seen since Lewis and Clark first spied the Pacific coast. Somehow, Congresswoman Jamie Butler sees this as a bad thing, and wants to kill all those nutty animals and they're stealing the food out from our, from our plates. She wants to kill many sea lions every year and allow the in Indian tribes to kill, kill, kill yet more. Not only is this plan cruel, it is also completely daft. See, the sea lions don't live in the river. They move in and out of it, migrating from place to place. They make it, this makes it impossible to kill a few to disrupt the local population. It would really only harm the species as a whole, part of which is still threatened in some regions. 
What would help the salmon? Tearing down the dams, cutting down on fishing, improving spawning habitat. But, but championing, such, championing such causes would mean stepping on toes and jeopardizing Jamie Butler's political career. The same article also details another bill she's pushing, which would allow logging in old growth forests. According to Miss Butler, this would not be bad logging, but would be beneficial to these forests which have grown for hundreds, if not thousands of years, without our intervention. You think about that a little while. Please write Miss Butler here and find where you to write your own representatives and tell them to help salmon by improving stream quality, passage past dams, and better and better fishing practices rather than by shooting sea lions. I'd also appreciate it if you mentioned how emphatically you disapprove of logging in old growth forests. And perhaps lugging in general, if you feel like it. If you disagree with me for some reason, please put it posted in the comments below. I hope this to be the first of a series of weekly videos. However, it all depends on the success of this one here. If you agree with my opinions, found it informative, or just enjoyed watching me in a, sitting in a field being harassed by farm animals, and then, then like, subscribe, and share on Twitter, Facebook, Mill, and any other conceivable social network you use. Also, feel free to ask questions about hiking, hiking gear, trails, environmental issues, etc. If I get enough of them, I will have a question and answer segment next week. Additionally, I welcome any input you have on the format and content of this show. You can reach me via Twitter at NackMacFiegel, and you may... And you may read my hiking stories my, and view my lovely photographs on my blog, eliminationsfromtheattic.blogspot.com. You can support this channel by, by sharing it with all of your friends, everywhere. Please, share. Thanks for watching. Now get outside. Hide. What are you doing indoors and staring at your monitor on a lovely day like this? I wish you all a good afternoon and happy trails. Mm.